goes downwards into the string and into the release, you will tend to have your wrist would turn like clockwise. So your wrist and your palm will turn clockwise and you'll get around the ball instead of getting behind the ball. So in order to eliminate that, you, you will have to probably do like uh, one step drills or like maybe three step drills to try and practice and have some a lot of drills to practice having his hand, getting his hand behind the ball at the top of the swing, uh, on top or behind the ball at the top of his swing. So as he gets, then this also helps him to push the ball forward or accelerate the ball forward on the downswing as well. Because at this position, since his wrist is like beside the ball, there's no way for him to accelerate the ball when the where at the top of his down at the top of his swing, so to say. So he yeah, then you can see that his wrist from here, so you can see his wrist turns turns around, right? His wrist goes from here to here. So you can see here his wrist is trying to turn, his like his wrist is trying to get into the side of the ball. That's because uh at the top of the ball his wrist was like in the nine o'clock position. So at the bottom of the release, his wrist will naturally try to get to three o'clock position. And he's like trying to fight it, right? He's trying to like consciously try to like fight his wrist from going to three o'clock position.